Hello, Time to Chat listeners. You are listening to episode six of the Time to Chat podcast. Today, we are wrapping up our series of eight things to do with your child during the summer. We will be talking about ages between 10 and 16 years old. I thought I would group these ages together since the developmental, emotional, and physical milestones are fairly similar. During this age range, your child is in the beginning stages of adolescence, which means they are becoming more mature and independent and developing a sense of purpose and self-worth. They may be more sensitive, emotional, and a little difficult to talk to at times, but it is important to find a balance between the challenges and the pride that comes with raising a preteen and a teenager. Quality time is especially important at these ages so that you can really stay in touch with your child and get to know more about their dreams, aspirations, and even some of the struggles they may be going through. Take the time to talk about setting goals and what opportunities they have ahead of them. These activities will not only encourage interaction and engagement, but may even help your child discover things that they really love and enjoy. Have fun and try to remember what it was like for you when you were a teenager. Hi, I'm Tanya Friend, and I've been a speech and language pathologist for 13 years. I am also the owner and director of Chatterbox Speech Therapy a speech therapy practice that serves the children and community in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I'm Corey Walker. I've been working with children for nearly 20 years, and I was a pioneering app developer in the area of speech and language pathology. We all have gifts in this life, and mine is knowing what makes children tick. Parenting in the modern age comes with uncharted challenges. We'll be bringing you discussions with experts in childhood development and introducing some tough questions and topics. Together with our experience and knowledge, we have created this podcast to help you with your child's development and wellness. So listen up. Because it's time to chat. Okay. So first we're going to cover eight things that you can do with your child between the ages of 10 and 13. Number one, take a class together. It can be cooking, painting, crafting, maybe photography. Maybe it's a class that you've been wanting to take and you can bring your child along and they might find out it's something they're really passionate about or maybe it's something that they've been wanting to try. Um, You can look at places like hobby stores or sewing shops or photography shops, but sometimes these places will either have classes of their own or they may be able to let you know where you can find classes. Also, you can look on Facebook and Instagram and see what things are going on in your community and find some classes that are listed within those sites. Number two, start a scrapbook. You can start a scrapbook together, maybe from a trip that you've taken or that the family's taken or that your child has taken, or you can even start a scrapbook from when they were first born until where they are now. You could even do scrapbooks about their friends or things that they want to do. It can be like a dream and goal setting aspiration scrapbook. Or you can each start one of your own. But this activity is just something that you guys can do together. It's fun. You can relive memories, talk about goals and dreams. It's just such a great activity. It takes up a lot of time and it's it's even calming and soothing and creative because you can use different stickers. I mean, you go into the hobby stores now, Hobby Lobby or Michaels, and they have like three aisles worth of fun stickers. So this is, this can be a lot of fun and something that your child will have to look back on for years to come. Number three, take them to an art museum. Most local art museums have a discounted or even a free day during the month. This is great for teaching your child to appreciate art and culture. The opportunity for the use of descriptive language is endless. Talk about why they like certain pieces or what they don't like about certain pieces. They will see and learn that art can come in all kinds of different forms. Number four, pick a book to read together and set up a mini book club. You can invite their friends or even other family members to join your book club. Plan discussion mornings or even discussion evenings to talk about the book. You could talk about the characters, the things they like, what they think is going to happen in the story. This teaches them to appreciate social relationships and teaches them how to engage in conversation. Now for my list of eight things to do with your 14 to 16 year old this summer. Number one, take a day trip. It doesn't have to be too far from home, but my advice to you would be 
ditch Google Maps and use a good old paper map to route your trip. This will be a great adventure. Number two, make a music playlist together. Although it may seem that you have very different tastes in music at this time, if you both agree to go into this activity with an open mind and an open ear, you may learn to like and appreciate each other's music. Music can evoke emotions and memories, and I have no doubt that this playlist is something you both will cherish in the future. Number three, go for a hike. Teaching your children the importance of exercise and getting fresh air and some sun is one of the best things you can do for them. Recent medical studies show that more and more people are showing deficiencies in vitamin D, which results in feeling tired all the time, depression, and even anxiety. We are struggling with weight issues and health issues from being sedentary all the time. Teach your child the importance of moving their bodies and getting fresh air. Number four, go to a yoga class. There are often affordable yoga classes around the city at parks, museums, restaurants, farmers markets. I know here in Albuquerque, there's even one that's held on the rooftop of a building downtown. It's really cool. Find one that you both agree sounds like fun, grab your mats and give it a try. Number five, go on an adventure. Maybe it's a camping trip, water rafting, an amusement park, anything that may be thrilling and exciting and will create memories and stories to tell. Number six, go to a bookstore. Search for a local bookstore in your city. Maybe when you get there, you both agree to go your separate ways and meet up again in 20, 30 minutes and show each other your selections and purchase your books. Take notice of what your child is interested in and have a conversation about it with them. Number seven, have a coffee shop date. Sip on coffee or tea and have a conversation with your child. The point here is to put the phones away. This should be a no phones or technology coffee date. Number eight, try a new restaurant. I personally love trying new cuisines or checking out new local restaurants that open up around the city. This is encouraging your child to try new things and explore new things. And I can't stress this enough. Make this a no cell phone experience where you are engaging your child in conversation and spending quality time together. Well, that does it for our summer series of eight activities that you can do with your child during these summer months. I really hope you all have enjoyed this series and that you try some of these great ideas. Remember, you can always find these lists and more information about some of these activities on our website, which is timetochat.org. Under the podcast section, we released a blog post with each episode that we record. Thanks, Time to Chat listeners. You will hear more from us in the next week.